the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have found themselves at the centre of a whirlwind of controversy and criticism in recent years. Their decision to step back from their roles as senior members of the British royal family, coupled with their candid interviews and comments about the institution, has sparked a firestorm of reactions, both supportive and critical. One of the most significant sources of criticism has been their willingness to speak openly about their experiences within the royal family, particularly in their bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. In this widely watched conversation, Harry and Meghan made allegations against the royal institution, discussing their unhappiness and the challenges they faced during Meghan's pregnancy. Meghan's lawyers even claimed that she was silenced by the royal establishment and prohibited from defending herself against negative media coverage. These revelations were met with a wave of backlash from critics who accused the couple of airing the family's dirty laundry in public and betraying the royal tradition of maintaining a stiff upper lip. Some argued that their decision to speak out was a breach of the unwritten rules of the monarchy, which values discretion and privacy above all else. However, supporters of Harry and Meghan applauded their courage in breaking the silence and shining a light on the pressures and mental health challenges that come with being part of the royal family. They saw the couple's candle as a refreshing departure from the traditional stoicism of the monarchy and a sign of their commitment to authenticity and transparency. Another source of criticism has been the couple's perceived attempts to reclaim or maintain their royal status, even after stepping back from their official duties. During their recent trip to Canada for the Invictus Games countdown, Harry and Meghan prominently featured their Sussex titles on their new website and in their public appearances, leading some critics to accuse them of trying to have their cake and eat it too. The UK press even reported that the couple had three days to prove they can behave during their Canada visit, suggesting that their actions were being closely scrutinized for any perceived missteps or attempts to cling to their royal associations. This criticism has been fueled, in part, by the couple's decision to participate in high-profile media projects such as their upcoming Netflix docuseries. While Harry and Meghan have stated that their desire for privacy was not the primary reason for stepping back from royal duties, critics have argued that their involvement in such projects contradicts their stated goals and further blurs the line between their public and private lives. The couple's representatives have denied these claims, stating that the narrative of privacy being the reason for their departure was intended to trap the couple into silence. However, the perception persists that Harry and Meghan are attempting to maintain a level of royal status and influence while simultaneously distancing themselves from the constraints and responsibilities that come with it. Beyond the criticism surrounding their royal status, Harry and Meghan have also faced scrutiny for their perceived political leanings and involvement in political matters. While the couple has generally tried to maintain political neutrality, as expected of members of the royal family, they have taken steps that have hinted at their political views. For instance, they have encouraged voter participation and initiated campaigns to counter election misinformation drawing criticism from those who believe that royals should remain strictly apolitical. Additionally, Harry's memoir Spare revealed his disdain for conservative media mogul Rupert Murdoch and his politics, further fueling speculation about the couple's political leanings. The couple's statement on their Archeo website condemning all acts of terrorism and brutality amid the Israel-Hamas war also drew criticism from some quarters, with some arguing that their involvement in such political matters was inappropriate for members of the royal family even those who have stepped back from official duties. Amidst these criticisms, Harry and Meghan have maintained that their actions and decisions have been driven by a desire for a more independent and authentic life, free from the constraints and scrutiny of the royal establishment. They have spoken about the toll that their roles took on their mental health and the need to prioritize their well-being and that of their children. Supporters of the couple have praised their courage in breaking free from the traditional mold of the monarchy and forging their own path. They see Harry and Meghan as trailblazers, challenging the outdated norms and expectations of the royal family, and paving the way for a more modern and progressive approach to royal life. Critics, on the other hand, 
view the couple's actions as a betrayal of the values and traditions that have sustained the monarchy for centuries. They argue that by airing their grievances in public and seeking to maintain a level of royal status while distancing themselves from the responsibilities that come with it, Harry and Meghan are undermining the very institution they claim to respect. As the debate rages on, it is clear that the actions and decisions of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have struck a nerve in the public consciousness. Their willingness to challenge the status quo and forge their own path has resonated with some, while others see it as a threat to the very fabric of the monarchy. Ultimately, the criticisms and controversies surrounding the couple serve as a reminder of the enduring fascination and scrutiny that surrounds the British royal family. Every move, every decision, and every comment is dissected and analyzed, reflecting the intense public interest in the lives and actions of these public figures. Whether one agrees or disagrees with their choices, it is undeniable that Harry and Meghan have sparked a conversation about the role and relevance of the monarchy in the modern world. As they navigate the choppy waters of public opinion, their journey will continue to captivate and divide, reminding us that even in the gilded halls of royalty, the complexities of human experience and the pursuit of authenticity remain ever-present.